in this video, I want to introduce to you the tools that we use when we're cooking and when we're baking. Now, these are called measuring cups. Now, we've been talking about fractions in our math unit, and I want to show you something, how fractions can be used every day when we're doing our cooking and when we're doing our baking. Now, this cup here is called one cup. It is one whole cup, and sometimes you'll see in a recipe it calls for one cup of something, okay? Now, here's something interesting. This one says one half cup, and it is exactly half of this cup, okay? This is the whole, this is the half, okay? And I can demonstrate that to you by pouring some water inside the half cup. And then if I pour that water into my one cup, it will fill up exactly one half of the cup. So you can see that one half of the cup has been filled. Okay, so that's one cup, that's the whole. This is half a cup, which is exactly half of this cup. If I fill this cup again, another half cup, and pour it in this cup, what do you think will happen? Well, let's find out. If I pour two half cups into one whole cup, what happens? I get one whole cup. This cup is now full. My finger goes in the water right away. So two half cups equal one whole cup. So I can say one half plus one half equals one whole. All right, so if you can't find your one cup to do a, a recipe, you could do two half cups to equal one cup. Now, You'll notice here, this is one quarter cup. One quarter cup is exactly half of one half cup, okay? Again, if I were to fill this one up with water, I would see that one quarter cup is exactly half of one half cup, all right? this cup is now half full. So if I go one quarter plus one quarter, I will get one half cup, okay? Now this cup here, one eighth, one eighth cup, is exactly half of one quarter cup. If I were to fill up my one eighth cup, you would see that it would fill up exactly half of the one quarter cup. And there it is, okay? So a whole cup is represented by one. A half cup is represented by one half, okay? This cup is exactly half of this cup. If I pour two of these into the one cup, I get one whole cup because I know one half plus one half equals one whole. My quarter cup is exactly half of my one half cup. One quarter plus one quarter would give me one half. And finally, one eighth, which is this size, this is one eighth of this one whole. So if I were to divide this cup into eight equal parts, this is how much it would be. This is how much it would hold, okay? One eighth plus one eighth would give me one quarter, okay? All right, so these are the tools used for measuring. I'm going to post my favorite recipe for you today so you can check it out and maybe make it with your family one day. Okay, so the tools of measuring when we're baking and cooking, we need to understand fractions in order to use these cups correctly. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great cooking or baking day. Bye for now.